girlies welcome to my youtube channel yo so today it, it just hit me in jail yo guys i feel like god like i feel like god young robber somewhere like there's something missing something like today i decided to take a nap around 12 o'clock and i just woke up around i think two and then waking up i'm like i feel like there's something missing in my life and that's probably because is it because i'm always locked up in my room and i don't have friends okay guys get lonely i'm so lonely i am literally lonely like looking at my peers, my age mates, they are doing wild things. And then looking at me, it's not because, or maybe I was looking down on myself, but I am so lonely. And the issue is probably because I don't celebrate my small wins. Like, I don't celebrate my small wins. I don't go out. I don't. It's the, my life. It's like a routine. I wake up in the morning. I bath. I go to work. From work, I come back. From my room, I sleep or I cook, prepare for the next day, and so forth, so on and so forth. And then on weekends, I just sleep. Or I just do my laundry. And that's it. So, and nowadays things are so convenient to such a point that you don't have to get out of your house to do your, your to, to shop, to do some shopping. Like guys, I've never, I've never been in a restaurant. Like not your, 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 your spray, your, no, like an actual restaurant. I've never been massaged went for a massage i've never guys am i really a 22 year old because i'm definitely getting old and checking my circle it's only my family members and some people i met from varsity but i'm far from them now like i'm so alone to such an extent that I feel like sometimes I'm a burden to my partner because I it's either I'm him, I'm with him or me one, like I'm alone. Like guys, I am alone. Today I was like, no man. Like, have you ever seen someone and be triggered out of no way? Like, guys, I had plans for my life. I had plans for my life. Like, I thought by this age, I would have done a lot of good things for myself. And I mean, I have, but they are not as close, even close to the things I wanted for my life. I thought by this age I would be doing my fifth year for my uh, my for medicine or for dentistry. I don't know how many times I tried. I tried to 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 I tried Puma from this profession. Like my first year. I did, inter it's called internal application, where you are doing another card, but you want to transfer to a different card. I did internal application for medicine for the following year, and I got rejected because I had three supplements. From the three supplements, I failed one. Second year, I applied again. I got rejected. For what reason, I don't know, because I did redo the, 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 the module that I applied for. And I passed it. And then second year, still my application was rejected. 
third year guys i still applied to a different institution different institutions and all my applications were rejected fourth year last year i applied for a different course again and i was doing my fourth year and still my application was 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 accepted but because i couldn't i couldn't be accepted for other things then i was rejected and then but the question is like i am here like i don't know i think it's kind of hard to accept where i am now because no one glorifies the profession that I'm in, it's an amazing profession. Like, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I feel like probably it's, I, I've been trying to change my whole life, being afraid to being a teacher because of the stigma that it has. Like, people would literally bel belittle you simply because you are a teacher. People will make fun of you some people like they would even talk about you behind your back because you are simply a teacher and sometimes i would have conversation with my teachers and they would be like hi hey, now go back go do your uh, go do your, your your medicine go do your health science related because because that's what i wanted but guys like we we plan, but God decides. It might sound like a cliche, but I am a proof of that. Like, I tried multiple times to transfer and do something different. Doesn't matter, but something different. But here I am. And to reflect on the year ahead, I'm grateful. To see the struggles that people go through just to be employed. Like, guys, I remember on my last year, towards the end of the year, I think around this time, I was panicking, are they going to accept me to the other university? Because I applied at UJ and they did accept me. Like, I was wondering, if they don't then what's there for me because without me being go health sciences it's it's not me it can never be me and then come january i was unemployed i didn't know any i didn't have any direction for my life i didn't apply for honors like i was that was the darkest month of my life year because immediately when i got a call to come work where i'm working now you like something in me just i don't know why but i was so grateful that day i cried because i'm like god i have seen the struggles that everyone goes through in a in a in one month and i couldn't even i couldn't even um Begazella in English. Like I couldn't yeah. It was hard for me. And I to imagine how does everyone do this? Like y'all are brave. I so pray that God gives you strength because today in the morning I read this other uh sort of a post from I think it was in Pure Game. I Sometimes I think it was in prayer game. Are sometimes God gives you big and hard um, your big and hard problems, if I can put it that way, because He knows how strong are you. I know some of us we've been praying for God. Let me not be your strongest soldier next year, but you guys are strong, and for that I wanna applaud you. I so wish the world was so blessing and so rewarding to a point that everyone was living a beautiful and perfect life. 
I've been in denial of the profession that I, I, I am doing, I am currently in now to such an extent that I couldn't see the beauty of being in university. I couldn't celebrate me achieving some of the most, me passing some of the most difficult um, modules. Like looking back guys, I didn't, I became a tutor at some point at the University of Pretoria. Just imagine me a tutor and it's today that I'm like, yo, God loves me. And it took a lot for me to realize that I'm not trying to shadow the fact, I'm not trying to shadow or put aside the dreams that I had for myself, but God is amazing. And I think now I'm on a journey where I will try to trust God because guys let me tell you something you didn't know but as a first time educator i was selected to represent one of the subjects here in the province just imagine it's my first time on top of that i was selected to set a paper as much as someone would say it's not an achievement but for me i'm still a first time educator i don't know what i'm doing yet but look at god i think like i pray that everyone can look at me and just see god because wow what a journey of life oh guys god it's beautiful i didn't know what it, me starting this video i didn't know i would get here but if you are going through a lot or some struggles now just know god is amazing and god will definitely help you pull through he cannot it's always there to help you regardless you might not see him. You know, I, I read to this other post again, Eti. You can pray to God and ask him for certain things. On top of that, telling him how to do those things or how to perform whatever that you're asking from him. And I was like, wow, I don't know what God has for me. But meanwhile, God knows what's in my heart. And Guys, I'm not like born and see God. Like, as much as you don't know the struggles that I've been through in life from my youngest age to today, but God is good. I've got a great family. My fam. Oh, guys. Anyways, I know I've spoken a lot and it's already a long video. My advice to you is don't lose hope. I know you're probably tired. I know you might be older than me and you're going through a lot, but you are beautiful. You are strong. You are perfect. And you, through you, God says, I don't know in English how can I translate that but yeah when I when you see me see God when I see you I should see God you might be in your darkest place ever but it's not the end for you <laughs> It's definitely not the end. People will laugh. People will make jokes. People will. And I will try to fix the fact that I'm a loner. I will go out there. I will. Maybe I might go for a shopping spree. You know, just to spoil myself. So I can get out of my comfort zone. And meet new people. You know. And I so wish that. Now you guys out there. You can be my friends. Comment. Let's talk. 
share stories anyways i love you guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like all my videos don't forget to comment i, I really do appreciate appreciate everyone who's been supporting my channel as small as it is but one day <laughs> people blow up anyways thank you guys i love you so much bye